Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler B series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I promise I'll get my snapping ability back. I'm just I'm still dealing with a little bit of an infection in one of my fingers. and It's going away, but it's dragging its ass. But anyway, folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means that I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That's actually not the case today, though. Uh, I actually bought these uh, a couple days ago. And boy, oh boy, did it take me some real strength of will to not just eat them. Because <laughs> it was one of those things where, like, I was, you know, I had the weekend off and everything, and I was kind of perusing around the house, and I was like, could make something or I could just go over there and eat the stuff that I was going to review because I don't always win that battle folks if I actually reviewed everything that I set out to review I'd probably have close to double my overall backlog but anyway what is it what was so tempting and yet I managed to stave it off well folks it happens to be from boom lays potato chips specifically these are honey butter flavored Ooh. Apparently, this is a Flavor Drop Global Edition inspired by tastes of Korea. So, I don't usually think honey butter when I think Korea, but then at the same time, I do not claim to be a Korean food expert. I like Korean food. I think it's great every time I've had it, but like, I don't know, is honey butter a thing over there? I think more, you know, I mean, maybe I'm just being a bit stereotypical. I think like kimchi and, you know, stuff like that. Kimchi would be a great flavor for fucking, uh, for potato chips. Get on it, Lays. Pay me a bunch of money because I came up with the idea. But let's go ahead and let's get a, a thing for the thing. Maybe more like this. Ha 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 ha. Let's give it a go. I'm really interested to see what uh, what these bring to the bring to the table. Now, folks. If you watch my channel, you already know where I'm coming from with this. Here's the bag, right? Big bag. Bigger in my head. I got a big head. That's how many chips you're actually getting. About half the size of my head. My head's not that big, folks. Give it a go. It went for a very light potato chip. Like, there's no... There, it's not like a kettle chip or anything like that. Very light, very sort of airy. Almost melt in your mouth. So texture's kind of... Texture's nice. I like it. Like, it's just very... You know, kind of almost puffed, you know? Still has an okay crunch to it. Yeah, I mean, the flavor is exactly what it says. It's buttery and kind of lightly sweet with a little bit of honey. Um, that's not bad. I will say this. I don't know if you didn't tell me that the sweetness itself is coming from, or is at least supposed to come from, like, a honey. Uh, there is a sweetness to it, but, like, honey isn't what's jumping out at me. It's more sort of a general sweetness. But, you know, let's let's get, like, a proper adult-sized bite instead of this one-chip bullshit. Yeah, it's got kind of a mild richness to it. That's one of the things I, I really kind of have to emphasize with this, like, the flavor is really nice. I like it. But it is very, I don't want to say subtle, but very mild. 
it's not a heavy flavor. It's not a heavy sweetness, not a heavy butteriness, which I could go either way on, honestly. I could see it, like, as is, I like it. And I think that part of the reason why is because it is a little bit more subtle with the taste. Whereas if you've gone all in, you know, it could be a little bit more, a little bit abrasive, you know. Honey and butter could definitely kind of overwhelm things. But the contrast to that is that I could also see this being done with a stronger, you know, uh, wealth of flavor to it and being absolutely delicious, depending on how they went over there and worked it. So I can see it going either way. But as is, I like them. I like the lightness of the chip. I appreciate that the flavors are, again, you know, a little bit more subtle, but still very present. Uh, yeah, I think these are nice. They don't make me think of Korea, but again, I'm not claiming to be... If, if somebody that isn't, you know, some sort of, like, hostile fucking, you know, crazy rich guy who just wants to go over there and murder me, wants to go over there and set me up with a trip to Korea, as long as there, we'll work out a shitload of details, because, again, I want to come back from that trip. Um, sure, I'll go learn all about Korea. But right now, fortunately, the sampler platter does not pay to go to Korea. But... Some Korean inspired chips? Sure. I can make that happen. I think these are really nice. Like, I like these a lot. And I know that over in the East, you know, sweetened chips are a little bit more of a readily available thing. You can, can get varieties here in America too, but they seem to be a little bit more common over there. It's like kind of an acceptable flavor of potato chip. I think in this instance, it works great because you have, again, kind of a rich, almost savory kindness from the butter, but then just kind of a hint of that sweetness. I think these are really nice. I'm almost, I'm almost sad that I didn't go over there and eat those the other day. Because then, if I'd done that, I would have had to have gone out and buy another bag. And I would have had two bags. But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Absolutely and kind of. I think, for me, I really like it. Like I said, I, I don't think about Korea when I'm when I'm eating them, but I like the flavors. I like the sort of airiness of the texture on them. Like, there's nothing I dislike about it. And it works in that way where it's just weird enough to be somewhat unusual for my palate. You know, because, like, again, I've had certainly had sweetened chips and stuff, but it's not usually the go-to for me. So I like what they're doing with this, and I like that it's a little bit unusual, and I like that while it is a little bit unusual, it's still familiar enough to my palate that I can just kind of go with it, you know? Because obviously when you stray too far from, you know, what people are used to, you really run a risk, you know? Are they going to love it, or are they going to hate it? Because you're going to get both ends of the extreme. With this, and this kind of ties into whether or not I would go over there and recommend it for anybody, I feel like they were smart with the flavors, you know? They're interesting, they're non-standard for what, you know, at least here in the United States, you would be typically associated with a potato chip, but they're not, like, hog-wild weird, they're not, like, so offbeat that I don't think, really, the average person could enjoy it. In fact, I actually think that this would be one of the, one of the international flavors that would be a surprisingly easy sell, you know? Because, again, <clears throat> it's not too savory, it's not too sweet, it's not like you're trying to eat candy or anything like that. It's just, you know, a little something-something just to, you know, kind of play with your palate a little bit. And I think these are fun. I think that they're, uh, I think they're fun, and I think they're, again, just interesting enough and just familiar enough that, you know, definitely something you should go out and try. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year. Folks, you're going to yourselves a truly oddly Korean-inspired flavor to rest of your life, I guess. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. 
Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, let me know if honey butter is a Korean thing. Because, again, I just, you know, Korean food, like, I I think in every instance when I've had Korean food, I've loved it. But at the same time, it's not the most common place of Asian foods in my area. You know, like, it's a, it's around. But, you know, there's plenty of Chinese food places, uh, increasingly... You know, plenty of Thai places, even Vietnamese places. Of course, you know, you get, like, Japanese places with sushi and such. Korea's a little, you know, it's a little bit more, you know. And it is, a, it's a, a cuisine that I need to for, familiarize myself more with. It's definitely something I want to feature more on the show eventually. Especially if I can get some shit that tastes, you know, that has, like, some honey butter aspect to it or something. That'd be really cool. But let me know. Like, are there Korean dishes you'd like to see me try or anything specific? I have reviewed a few. So, like, some kimchi soup and stuff. I know, I just keep going back to kimchi. Look, they sell it at the places, okay? It's not like I'm going over there and it's the only thing I'm looking for. They sell it at places. Bye.